Alchemy, a subject today on our occult facts. Hello, I'm Anna. And of course, like I said, I'll be talking about alchemy. Now, when I decided to do this subject, it was a Pandora's box. Alchemy is something that some people have an idea about either from movies or watching Harry Potter and the Sorcery Stone, which is also known as a philosophy stone everywhere but here in the United States, or you've heard about it in fantasy books or movies. The definition of alchemy is the following. The medieval forerunner to chemistry based on supposed transformation of matter. It was concerned particularly with the attempts to convert base metals into gold or to find it a universal elixir, a seemingly magical process of transformation, creation, and combination. There are also different theories of where the word alchemy comes from. With the Egyptian word alchemet, black land, which Egypt was known for due to the black soil of the Nile, or chimera, the Greek word to cast. Each culture was intertwined and had a great influence on each other and was the basis of alchemy. There are different pr uh, practices of alchemy, Western and Eastern. Each have the foundation in these following basic principles, the elements which consist of water, earth, air, and of course, fire. There are also the three primes, the triprima, mercury, the fluid connection between the high and the low, sulfur, the omnipresent spirit of life, salt, the base matter. The alchemist's primary seven metals represent different properties, planets, functions of the body, emotion, and different forms of energy. The metals are the following. Gold, which represents the sun and energy. Silver symbolizes the moon, fertility, and growth. Copper, whose planet is Venus and also represents herbalism, creation, and magic. Iron, the planet for this is Mars. The energy for this is power and violence. Mercury, which is coarse, mercury, which entails communication, and also magic. Lead, the planet of Saturn, is represented by karma and also learning. Tin, which is the last metal, and its planet being Jupiter, and it represents wealth. These metals also have deeper meanings to them. Various body parts are assigned to them. The metals have so many various energies and emotions that there was too many to list here and to share with you. Now, again, I'm just giving you an overview of alchemy. There's further explanation for a lot of these different properties of metal, but I will go through seven operations of transformation and name them off as best I can pronounce them. The first one is calcination. Heating an item over an open flame. Its astrological sign is Aries, and I will explain this later. The second is dissolution dissolving ash from the first operation. Cancer is its sign. The third is separation, isolation of solutions, which is Scorpio. For conjunction, recombination, safe elements to create a compound represented by the planet Venus. The fifth one being fermentation, regrowth, such as fungus or bacteria, and that would be Capricorn. The last one is coagulation is the final step to all the operations, and this one is represented by Virgo. The reason I gave you astrological signs for most of the operations was alchemists would record their findings in books. Most of them would be encoded to be hidden away from the general public. The books would tell a story, but would have a lot of symbols with them in them, so symbols in the illustration. So those in the know would be able to recreate, if able to decode it, some of the formulas left behind um, as clues for other alchemists. Alchemy was not just about metals. It was also used to produce pharmaceuticals, such as pigments, perfume, alcohol, various chemicals, and cleaning products. As I mentioned before, there were different alchemy philosophies. There was Eastern alchemy coming out of China. They also 
mostly based on earth magic, which most people are familiar with is Feng Shui, energy transmission. There's also Indian alchemy that dealt with mostly health and potions, Islamic al alchemy, a blend of Chinese and Indian and Greek, and it was based on the Emerald Tablet from the Greek Philosopher's Stone, which was created from that, which is a whole nother thing. The most well-known to people um, now, but all of it's known, of course, and was Western alchemy, which has hermetic, a combination of Greek, Egyptian gods of magic and wisdom, Toth, and which is the Egyptian god, and Hermes, which is a Greek god, joined as one, and that led to another society called the Golden Dawn, which is another error on itself and, and a whole nother book of worms. <laughs> I know there's so much more to alchemy, so many different avenues, but again, this is just an overview and I tried to condense it as best I could. Um, thank you for watching and please, please give us a like, subscribe because there's so many people here that give their all and their content and there's something for everyone. So please keep searching for the unknown. And until the next segment of Occult Facts, please be well. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Bye.